Today's video is every parent's nightmare having to defend your children from being taken. Welcome to today's active self-protection lesson. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Hartsfield Jackson Airport in Atlanta, Georgia in the United States. Many thanks to Magtech Ammunition, the sponsor of today's active self-protection lesson. It's the only ammo I put through my rifles or pistols at the range. 5 a.m. at one of the busiest airports in the country and you see this woman right here is just standing around and waiting and not going anywhere. And that's not uncommon for somebody to just be kind of loitering in an airport as they wait for a flight, but she's kind of loitering out in the middle of everything. And I've just kind of sped it up for the sake of time. And what's gonna go down here? You see this young family coming up. I'm sorry, you know, this was filmed on a potato. That wasn't me that did that. It's just poor video quality. And she sees this woman with two small children and grabs a hold of her stroller and starts to to kind of hold on to that and try to grab that baby and this woman you go watch the news story it's got an actual interview with this woman and she says let go let go well her husband this young family's on their way to Disney World down in Florida and the husband's kind of looking and as she's trying to get a hold of the stroller and take the stroller in it the husband's going to finally come over and actually left his other child in the stroller a little ways away now they're going to keep the stroller from this woman now in that case she grabs their top toddler while a bystander comes over to try to help her and keep her from doing that. Now mom and dad are both significantly engaged and the ruckus starts. Hey, don't take my baby. Don't take my baby. Now a transit officer here, that's not a cop. That's a transit officer. She's basically a non-sworn has, has going to get on her radio and get some cops there. And you, what you're going to see here as I've sped it up simply for the sake of time is a bunch of cops have, have tackled this woman who I think was in her twenties and was trying to steal this child. And we, I've not really been able to find in the news what her motivation was or why she thought she was going to get away from that. But it's going to take officers a significant amount of time and effort working together to get her into custody. Neither of the children were hurt. This family was able to continue on and go on their vacation. But wow, what a significant thing here. and Probably every parent's worst nightmare. Thankfully, no one was harmed. And that is where this one ends. As a father of four children, the papa bear in me just, just blew up when I was watching that video. Do you want to support the work we do here at Active Self Protection? One of the ways you can do that is buying some merch. There's a link to the shop in the description. We'd love it if you'd go and check out and think about buying some stuff. Show that you cover your ass and support the work we do. Let's get to some lessons out of this one. This one really is every parent's worst nightmare. And as we speed it up, just for the sake of time, you got to recognize, okay, wait a minute. I'm, I am paying attention in the airport terminal. Of course I am. Now, this is a sterile area. People have been through security. Nobody here is armed with guns or knives or anything like that. So there is some safety here. But I do want to notice that the family kind of splits up. And they split up around the maintenance cart here. Now, that's totally normal and okay. So you saw dad and one child in one stroller go around one side, mom and other two children go around the other side. Totally normal, totally an okay thing. And I don't think this woman just standing there would have set off bells and alarms in a normal sense. However, when the family does get split up like that, you want to pay attention to where did everybody go? Is everybody safe? What's going on in our world? Is everybody okay? Particularly when you have young children. When you have young children, you, you of course, you have to be much more paying attention to where those kids are because they wander off or they can be victimized. Now then, this woman then, then comes over and uh, puts her hand on the stroller and starts engaging the mom, trying to get that stroller away. Clearly, this is not something that a normal person would do. Mom, I can't tell you enough for mom moms and dads both, it is perfectly okay for you to defend your physical boundaries. You do not have to allow anyone to touch your children. You do not have to allow anyone to invade your personal space. You can defend your personal space. And we use the ask, tell, make paradigm. Somebody gets too close, please back off. Please don't touch my stroller. Please don't touch my child. If they don't, then you tell them, get your hand off my stuff. Get your hand off my child. And if they will not do that, then make them do that. Now I do notice here, dad is paying attention. You notice he does look back and go, wait, what's going on with my wife? Probably heard her voice go up a little bit and that brings his attention. That's very good. You're using not only your eyes, but your ears to pay attention to your world. And now of course you have to go, why is this woman paying attention to my wife? What is going on here? Do I need to step in and make a difference? Well, you know, of course you might have an interaction with people and people like to come up and talk to you when your kids are cute, whatever, but you got to recognize, hey, I might need to go from condition yellow where I'm paying attention, condition orange, something's weird, to condition red, I have to do something about this right now. Right now he's in a condition orange where he goes to investigate and see what's happening. But I do want to notice he did leave his other child 
in a spot where he turned his back to him completely. Now, in this case, no big deal and no problem. I do worry just a little bit in these cases where we see a distraction in order to get a child away, and this could be what they call a bait and switch. She makes a play on one child, get the parents overthinking about that child, and while they're focused on the first child, they grab the second child who they're not paying attention to. Didn't happen in this case, but I have seen that those kinds of things happen. So take the kid with you is what I'm saying. Keep all your children in view in this case. Don't just leave one of them sitting out there in the middle of things. Now then, notice that the bystander to the far left gets up and gets involved. Now, now I think that we, we always talk on the channel about getting involved in third-party encounters and the fact that you need to think about what you're going to get involved in. But there are some things that are so shocking to the conscience that just any good person would have to get involved. And I think the kidnapping of children is probably one of those things. If I see a child being kidnapped, I gotta step in and go, wait a minute, let's get some law enforcement over here to figure that out. Now, you do have to be careful doing that because sometimes we have custody disputes and things aren't always what they seem. However, making sure everybody goes, okay, time out, let's get some police officers here and get them to help us see what's going on is probably best while you keep everybody in that spot if you're going to get involved. Again, I think that children being kidnapped is a big deal. Now then, they are going to try to hold her, but notice that they're trying real hard to not hurt her in that point. Hey man, you got a hold of my child. I'm going to do whatever I can and be violent enough soon enough. Now finally, as these officers are trying to get this woman into custody, I just want to note here that trying to get somebody into cuffs who doesn't want to go into cuffs, you actually need some skills to do that. And, and people can fight particularly hard. So sometimes you got to get there and get violent enough to get these people in cuffs, and it can be a very difficult thing. So make sure that if you're a law enforcement officer, you know how to communicate with each other, that you're not duplicating each other's efforts, that you've taken your defensive tactic skills, you know how to manipulate someone's body in order to, to get most leverage out of them and get them to comply. They did get her into custody again. Thankfully, nobody was hurt here. Let's think about this family defense lessons. Think about making sure that we know when to be, you know, violent enough soon enough and defend our boundaries as we cover our ASP.